Hello, I'm Howard, pastor of the Roseville New Church, and welcome to Spiritual Shorts. Today and over the next three weeks, I want to look at the subject of marriage. In our world today, where the concept of marriage takes on numerous forms and interpretations, discussing it can sometimes seem like navigating a minefield. One of the reasons it feels this way is that when you speak of an ideal, particularly in a religious context, somehow it is assumed that everything that does not meet the level of that ideal is somehow less, or it's bad, or even evil. In short, when speaking of an ideal, everything else is subject to judgment. Now more than ever, we live in an anything goes culture where traditional boundaries of marriage are constantly being redefined and challenged. Marriage has become just another contract of convenience, one subject simply to the agreement of the parties to the terms and cancelable at any time and with an expiration date tied to the death of either party. You're missing from many marriages today is the simple acknowledgement by those with an understanding of true married love, that marriage transcends the physical realm, that true marriage survives physical death. So today I invite you to set aside the modern cultural conversations around marriage and join me in a reflection on the origin of marriage. For there is nothing in this world that does not have an origin and no understanding is possible without an understanding of that origin. In his book, Conjugal Love, Emanuel Swedenborg writes, truly conjugal love exists, but it is so rare today that its nature is unknown and almost its very existence. Swedenborg called it rare 250 years ago. But with divorce rates at an all-time high, all manner of relationships being called marriage, and many relationships mirroring marriage that aren't called marriage, I would argue that it's even more rare today. In its essence, marriage is a union of love and wisdom that parallels the divine marriage between good or love and truth or wisdom. In this sacred union, love is represented by a wife and wisdom by a husband. Together they form a complete and harmonious whole, reflecting the divine image. This union is not just a mere companionship, but a profound merging of minds and spirits. It's a process, a journey of continual growth and deepening connection, where the partners support and elevate each other to higher levels of love and wisdom. Swedenborg writes that marriage is far from a societal construct, that conjugal love has its origins in creation, that male and female were created to be united, to reflect the divine image. The purpose of marriage then is not for procreation or societal stability, but to form a spiritual union that mirrors the divine essence, that is love and wisdom. This divine dance between love and wisdom is not just confined to the boundaries of the marital relationship. Conjugal love reflects the Lord's union with the church, where the church is the bride and the Lord is the bridegroom. 
It's a beautiful metaphor representing the spiritual journey we all undertake, striving towards unity with the divine. This union is meant to be eternal, transcending the limitations of time and space. It's a partnership where both individuals grow together supporting each other in their spiritual journeys and forming a deeper, more meaningful connection. The new church's vision of true marriage or conjugal love challenges us to look beyond the surface, beyond the legal contracts and social conventions. It invites us to explore deeper spiritual dimensions of this sacred union. Conjugal love is not just about the union of bodies, but the union of souls and minds. It's about finding that spiritual companion, that soulmate, with whom we can journey towards greater love and wisdom. In this ongoing journey to unite love and wisdom, we find the true purpose of marriage, a reflection of the Lord's love and wisdom, a means of achieving a deeper, more profound connection with each other, and ultimately a deeper connection and even union with the divine. A last note on the use of the word conjugal. The term itself is a somewhat archaic form of the word conjugal which pertains to marriage or the relationship between married partners. Many people in the new church continue to use the word conjugal instead of married love as the term is imbued with deeper, more spiritual connotations. Remember, Love and wisdom go hand in hand, leading to a union of us and the divine in our lives. So let us quiet the cultural noise around marriage and instead celebrate marriage for the sacred and divine union that it truly is. Let us strive to form those deep eternal bonds that reflect the very essence of divine love and wisdom. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Spiritual Shorts, and may God bless you. I do hope that you will join me for the next several weeks as we look deeper and deeper into the beautiful idea of marriage. <music>